Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another Cricket Chicken video for the uh, Walking Dead, the ones who live. Um, as we know, there has been a lot of discussion about whether or not we're going to get a season 2 of this. It's something that people want to see, but there's also the faction of people that say it's not really necessary. And, you know, I'm kind of in the middle there. I would like to see another season, but I can understand why they wouldn't do it. And we got a little bit more clarification on that, at least a little bit more of an update regarding that from Scott Gimple. As you know, he's going to be hassled with this question relentlessly during any interviews that he does because everyone loves this show. It was such a big hit for the channel and for the streaming service, and it was ranked one of their higher shows or maybe even one of their highest. But with that out there, he was asked once again about the possibility of a second season. And this is from Entertainment Weekly. This is kind of a long little statement, but it kind of ma makes a clearer picture, I guess, about his intentions or just the conflicts that could be involved with it producing another show or another season because as we know this was advertised as a limited series run regardless that the phrasing that they chose to advertise it in did change here and there throughout the announcement of the show and the premiere of the show it was for all intents and purposes it was supposed to be just a limited thing to tell this story to get this thing that people wanted to see to see rick come back and all that but uh gimple was asked in another interview and uh, answered the question during an interview with Entertainment Weekly. For the moment, and although the audiences are very good, one of the best scores in AMC streaming platform, he clarifies that uh, nothing has been put on the table. Understand this, that the producers and the channel have not yet offered to renew the series, especially since conflicts could prevent the development of Season 2, in particular the schedules of everyone involved. However, Scott Gimple has had no shortage of ideas for the continuation of the story itself, assuming that he has already started imagining several things regarding Rick and Michonne's future and that there are even more to tell. In other words, if we allow it, the story can continue for at least one more season. Regarding the actors, Andrew Lincoln and I Guerrera have not confirmed that they would sign directly on for a season two if they were offered. Although they do not rule it out at this stage, aware that they may still have things to tell in the Walking Dead universe, Andrew Lincoln emphasizes, however, the space must be left for the exploration of other characters. So rest assured, Rick Grimes and Michonne can still bring us a lot in the Walking Dead universe. So they've definitely at least put it out there that there is the possibility that they could return. And I think the thing that makes most sense, even if it's not both Rick and Michonne, that we could see them come back into this universe to give us another story. Because obviously one of the bigger reunions that we want to see is Rick and Daryl. Because the whole premise around Daryl's show was that he went out looking for Rick and he got put in this position that he's in looking for Rick. And now, with Season 3 being confirmed and it's going to be filming in Spain, it offers more to that story. Because if you're not familiar with The Walking Dead, The Alien, the short story, it's about Jeffrey Grimes, Rick's brother, who is in Spain during the onset of the apocalypse. And now, they're going to take Season 3 and film it in Spain, where could it possibly tie into this? We don't know. It would be interesting, but... In a way, too, it kind of cheapens or they're trying to give us a substitute for what we really want to see. And I hope they don't go that direction, although I would like to see that story adapted, but maybe ended in a different way than it does in the comics. So if you're not familiar, I won't spoil it for you, but go check that short story out. But um, with that, too, I mean... Now that it's been a few weeks and I've had time to digest the end of the series and you know really take in the story for what it was... I can accept if they don't do a second season. I would love to see Rick come back, but I can accept if they don't want to do a second season because this whole story was about Rick and Michonne getting together and getting back home, and they accomplished that. And yes, it would have been great to see reunions with other characters, but the whole focus of the story was Rick getting home to his kids, and it was more special and more emotional and whatnot that that reunion was just between him, Michonne, and the kids. That was the whole point of the story, and they did what they wanted to do. So to bring in other characters, it would be kind of awkward. It wouldn't fit in with what they were trying to do with this story. But with that being said, if they decided to bring Rick back, I don't think it would be necessary to do an entire series revolving around him again, because he did play Rick for nine seasons before this, and to have him come in maybe at the end of Daryl's series and have that reunion that we all want to see it would give them definitely time to throw things together and do it proper and have particular sets in place if they want to do that again but i think they would probably have them reunite in the commonwealth rather than trying to recreate any portion of the alexandria safe zone because that's a whole living community where they don't want to disturb them and just yes it would bring uh you know jobs back to the area and whatnot since they wrap filming but they probably don't want to go through the whole stage of 
reconstructing any of that because it probably was quite the hassle. Even though I think that it would mean more in a sense, it would uh, really kind of mean more to the story if they did reunite in Alexandria where a lot of their story began. But even though, yes, they were together for time prior to that, a lot of things went down. They fought to defend that area and defend those people and everything. So it would mean more to me if they did in Alexandria, but I would not really put it on them to do that. I think they would probably do it in the Commonwealth. But to have Daryl come home and then reunite in that area too, that would be acceptable. <laughs> um, but uh, with that, I think that is probably the only way we're going to see Rick again. I don't know if we're going to get Rick and Michonne because we know that Denai Guerrera, she's very active in the Marvel world. I don't know how much more story that, that particular character has to tell in that world. I could see them at least having Andy Lincoln come back and do a cameo, maybe a cameo or two, or maybe just have one whole episode of Daryl's series about getting home and kind of switching back and forth between where Rick's at and where Daryl's at and then getting them back home together. So I think that would be pretty cool if they did went that direction. But the whole thing with uh, them not coming back there with season two, I can understand that and I can live with it as much as I would like to see more of Rick and Michonne together raising hell and all that. I can accept that they probably won't go that direction. And I mean, if they really wanted to renew, they would because it brought in so much viewership and everything for the channel, for the streaming platform. They'd be stupid not to, but I will let it go if they decide not to do that. But uh, with all of that out of the way, I do have a little uh, bonus content for this little video. I went and got me some Walking Dead swag from walkingdead.com or the official store or whatever, and it finally came in. So I wanted to kind of just do my first little opening video of this particular piece of clothing and uh, just sharing the excitement. Here we go. We got uh, It came in today. I ordered it a little over a week ago. But with the um, ones who live ended, I couldn't help myself. And I got me a CRM hoodie, you know, just in time for the summer, which is ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I would, I just couldn't help myself. I had to do it just because I'm such a nerd about uh, clothing from TV shows and whatnot. But, you know, you can see it's a pretty good hoodie. This nice zip up hoodie They had gray and black and they have various other types of CRM uh, clothing, you know, with the CRM logo and whatnot on it. But I just wanted to share that with you, my first little opening for my channel. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll eventually do uh, openings. Maybe I'll get the uh, Walking Dead drop boxes or whatever. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, anyways, that is the video for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If, if you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Help me make my goal of a 1,000 subscribers, and I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.